All right, so my team brought to my attention that this video on YouTube that talks about how much people have in their savings account, I haven't watched it yet, so I'm very curious to see how it is. But I, I love seeing how these people react. I'm curious to see how I react to some of this stuff. Uh, but I'll tell you, if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you my own tips about how to build up your savings account even bigger. Because I don't know if these people have big ones or small ones, but we're gonna see. Let's check this out. How much money do you have in your savings? Ooh, see, <laughs> you in my business, don't do that. Oh, we're in your business, all right. How much money you got saved up? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. Oh God. I should feel confident about saying that one. My mom always- So at least we know in the start, some of these people, it's probably not much. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. Well, we just asked your savings account, you know, how hard is that question? <laughs> he told me don't tell people how much money you have and don't put your purse on the floor. Do you not feel comfortable saying like around how much you have saved? Not really. I'm gonna keep it to myself. Wow. Some stuff just needs to be private. How much money do you have saved up? Uh, do I, do I have to answer? <laughs> I've been broke as- Actually, there's a second reason for this too. It could be because you don't have a lot in your savings account. It could also be because you might perceive you have too much and you're worried that people might actually hate you for it. Um, I've actually have several friends like that where we don't want to talk about our wealth as much because people might just hate us or you know be jealous. Even though we worked hard to be where we are, and maybe you are too, right? But uh, that could be the other reason that people aren't sharing. Broke as hell before, but now I'm making six figures. How much money you got? Oh, I got, I got money. What you got? I got money. It's okay to talk about money, right? Definitely. Let's f***ing air it out. How much money do you have Why not? Favorite? 500,000? 200,000? 30,000. 28,000 dollars? 16. 16, 15, 12. 11. 11,000? 10. 10. 10. Maybe have almost 10K? 9,000 dollars? 8,000 dollars. Thanks, unemployment. How much do you have in savings? Six grand? Six, 6,000 dollars saved up. Five. Actually, I'm gonna go back to that one. She says, thanks, unemployment. Um, that's actually true. We saw a lot of savings accounts build up. Um, I'm not sure how old this video is. I think it might be about a year old, which is about 2022, give or take. Um, a lot of people did build up their savings accounts to about 10,000 because the government was paying money. Uh, we're already seeing evidence that those accounts are depleting now. So I'd be kind of interested to see if that woman now, if we follow up a year later, if she still has 8,000, is it more or is it less now? Thousand. Five thousand. How much money do you have in savings? Five thousand. Two grand. Two thousand. And you feel pretty good about that? Feeling great about that. Trying to buy a house. A couple thousand. Eighteen hundred. A thousand. Not a lot. <laughs> Eight hundred in my savings. How much money do you have in your savings account? <sighs> um. <sighs> Um, <laughs> I don't check the bank account because I don't need that negative energy in my life. How much money do you- That is an interesting, interesting comment, isn't it? I don't check my bank account because I don't need that en negative energy in my life. <laughs> so, um, I I've done a lot of work with people, especially with people that are healers, right? I'm not saying she's a healer, but um, many healers would say, oh, I don't want to think about life insurance because, you know, I don't want to have that negative aspect of my life. You mean the inevitable aspect of death? Oh, I don't want to think about that. Okay, well, best of luck to that, you know. So uh, I know there's a lot of emotional things. You notice there's emotional stuff with this. Like this is just asking about a savings account. They're not even asking about how much money you're making. I mean, it's just about a savings account. That's it, right? Or is it just a savings account for people? You have in savings? Not as much as I'd like. Do you make money? I do make money. How much you got? Not that much. Well, I don't have a whole lot saved up. How much right now do you have in savings? $500. $200. 135 $120 just wait until payday, man. That's cutting it close, right? Oh, it's cutting it close for sure. A solid $100 and I feel very good about that. That's gonna be good, good, good eating for the next two weeks. How much money do you have in savings? Like $60. $10? Almost none. No monies. None. I ain't got jack in savings. Why not? <laughs> Rather stay home and smoke weed. Uh, I gotta say that my Robin Hood account- That's the most honest answer ever. I'd rather just stay home and smoke weed. You know, I basically smoke my savings account. At least I get to enjoy it. By the way, that's actually a thing I've heard people say. At least I get to enjoy it. You know, there's different reasons, aren't there? An account is kind of I had so many, so much savings a few months ago. I am very bad at stocks, so. <laughs> you got money? Do I have money? No. <laughs> I gave all of everything to uh, my kids and my wife when I left through our divorce. I just left everything. I feel you, buddy. I've been there. I've been in that place where we got divorced and all the money was going to the family and that's a rough time, but I promise you, you can rebuild from it. Everything to them. How much money do you got? Right now I'm a current student, so I'm broke. 
How much money do you have in savings? That ain't none of your business. I don't want my mom to know that. I wonder if I should say this. Man, go <laughs> yourself, you don't know me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm usually so comfortable about talking about this. Is it hard to talk about money? Yeah, bro. It's harder to talk about money to people that have more money or that are more stable than you. Money's. Mmm, interesting. I like, I, I mean, I think it's an interesting thing. I'm not saying I like it as a, as a reason, but, you know, think about it. Like, for her, it's that pit pedestal thing, right? Um, some people don't mind talking about their money because they're like, oh, I got a lot compared to whoever might be on this video. Like, I've got 500,000, you know? She's like, uh, you know, I don't really, I'm not really that comfortable because, you know, I know I have less than other people. Again, it's that comparison thing. If it weren't about comparison, you really should just be looking at your own situation because she might be spending a lot more money on a per month basis than that person has 500,000. Maybe they need 500,000 because they're blown through it so fast in their business or whatever they have. It's all situational, isn't it? But interesting that it's again, that pride issue that comes in. Something that I was always taught not to talk about. Do you have any debt? Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Am I allowed to say this on camera? Do you have any debt? Oh, I have a lot of debt. Like I got one light ticket that I just got a letter that said it went to collections. Do you have any student debt? Oh yeah, I do. For college, when I try to go, they'll never give me financial aid, so I pay for school myself. How much debt do you have? $5,000. 10,000? 20, 63. $100,000 in debt. I went to a private college and it was a very dumb idea. Do you have any debt? Hospital debt, yep. I uh, have a few chronic conditions and I was uninsured. Mostly medical. That's actually one of the number one causes of bankruptcy is medical expenses. So, uh, you know, debt, medical debt, that's a big deal. That's a big, serious thing. Medical. Do you have any debt? I just paid off my debt. Next month I'll be 100% debt free. Are you good with money? You know what? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Really good with money. Why are you good with money? My parents always encouraged me to, like, save. I've been trying to be cheap. Cheap to a fault, almost. Saving money was better sooner than later. Are you good with money? No. Why aren't you good with money? Because if I make it, I spend it. I love an eBay fashion find. I do um, have a little shopping dependency. How do you get by? Not so much. I'm living month to month right now. The unemployment this year has been, I'm still on it. Sometimes I like talk to men and like get their money, but I don't do that anything with them. They want me to be their sugar baby like they want their sugar, but it's like. <laughs> That's a great one to end on, right? Be the sugar baby for that. So it's interesting. I mean, you had a lot of different reasons. Uh, they talked about the savings. They talked about even having debt. Are they good with money? Their perception of whether they're good with money or not. I find it interesting that people that think they're good with money are the ones that think that because they're cheap, um, because they, they don't spend money. That does not mean you're good with money. Financial literacy, when it comes to being good with money, actually has more to do with it than that. Um, I, I know this because with my my ex-wife, like when she was first in her in her situation, becoming an adult, she didn't have that many expenses. So she felt she was great with money. Once it became more complex as we're married, all of a sudden there's all these things come at her. She's like, whoa, this is overwhelming, right? This is so much. That's the thing is that it's about stewardship, you know? And so I'm not saying he's not a wise steward or he's not good with his money. I'm just saying that, you know, uh, being cheap does not necessarily equate to being a good person with money. Even being a saver, you know, it doesn't mean that you're good with money. I think it's a good habit, but it doesn't mean anything. So as I promised, you know, how can you build up that savings? Here's the great way to do that. One, start tracking your money. Really start to understand how much money you have coming in, what's going out, do that. That will help you become better with money. Two, make sure you're putting money to savings. Even over paying off debt, even if they, like in these people's situation, they have student loan debt or whatnot, still focus on trying to put money in savings. I don't care if it's five bucks. Make an automatic deposit from your bank to automatically withdraw from your account five bucks a month or a week or 20 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever it is, just start there. You'll realize you won't even miss the money and you'll start building that savings account. You know, number three, if you've got savings, right? And you're saying, well, now I got a lot of savings, what do I do with it? How about we use that savings to start creating passive income? You know, we can even be doing things like the infinite banking type of strategy we talk about, right? Where you can build it up in a tax-free supercharged savings account that pays you much better than 0.0% in the bank, right? So there's, there's so many options you can do. I would just say start now, start really being a wise steward, watching your money coming in and out, knowing how much there is, focus on increasing your income, even with your current employment, find ways to increase that or have a side hustle, things to help build up that savings account. Because I'm telling you right now, having a savings account is more important than ever, right? Building up that savings. And I'm not saying you just keep it in the bank. In fact, I know a lot of people were worried about bank failures. So am I. So I don't keep much in the bank. I also use that supercharged savings account that I use with whole life insurance, very properly designed whole life insurance, not the 
plain old Joe one that your state farm agent creates, creates right? You don't want that. You want something that actually really works for you. And, uh, and that's something that we talk about in other videos on this uh, channel as well. So anyways, guys, that's a great way to build up your savings account is really just start to focus on that. Remember, whatever you put your attention towards expands and grows. That's the key is put your attention on that savings account, grow it even if it's five bucks at a time, keep building and growing and making it happen. Guys, if you thought this video was great, check out this next one called Eat the Rich, the GameStop Saga, where I react to a Netflix video that came out. Check it out.